we're gonna have a busy busy day so we got top notch already on his grader we got sassafras valley over there he's gonna be running the ham here in a little bit so i'm gonna go grab some six inch stuff because we got a couple soft spots for bread and uh then we'll get sassafras valley to roll it in and go from there so stay tuned Brad's made like three laps and has already got this thing like really slicked up, so. He's about got the perfect size little grater for this job. So it's a 68 Alice Chalmers, I think somebody told me. And he's the second owner, which is pretty cool. We'll dump this bucket of rip wrap and uh, we'll get Sassafras Valley on the roller and roll it in. And I'm gonna go get a load of rock in the peat and tug it on here. I'm trying to do as much filming as I can, and Brad's just all about getting it done. Which may be why he gets more work done than I do. to go to work so yeah this is my official roller driver usually when we have a roller that works you yeah. didn't get a, did, you, did you run the big one i uh, know no i didn't get that opportunity so. but it wasn't vibrating so where's the problem? yeah that's no fun now so yeah. but now we get to run a ham today i've never heard of a ham no i like ham i like yeah. bacon yeah ought to work so yeah this is william harris sassafras valley woodworks Woodworks. yeah he's got okay he's got a shirt on here Mm -hmm. Yeah, be sure to go there and check out his channel. He's uh, you built Cleman's wheel, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, okay. ship's wheel. Yeah. Yep, the ship's wheel, and he's got a bunch of videos on there with woodworking and all kinds of neat stuff that I have no idea how to do. So, <laughs> but yes, Sassafras Valley Woodwork. So check him out. All right. Now we're gonna put him to work on the roller. That's yeah. why when you come hang out with me, you just get forced into working. <laughs> and the key. The key's in it, I think. So. All right, I'm off. We'll go see. So yeah, he's done. He's ready to roll. All right, we got the rip rip put in place. Now I'm gonna load up uh, three or four, maybe just the rest of this rock and tailgate over that area and a few of the other ones. I think Sassafras Valley's got it rolled in. Brad's been working on that far end. This. this is actually uh, working out quite nice. I think that grader is going to be the ticket. And Brad is great on it, so yeah, I, I kind of walked him around this morning. I tried to get as close as I could, or even left a little bit more of a crown in the middle where he had a little more material. But he's able to slick these edges up and kind of windrow this stuff, so uh, yeah. Nice. I bet we use this whole pile of rock right here, which is maybe, well, uh, there are maybe five loads here, five or six. I still got one or two in front of his truck if we need it. It's kind of fun too, because that's the Brass Valley's get to do a little filming for his channel as well. Trying to get Brad to. I don't. He may have a camera with him, but <laughs> he just unloaded his grader and was like, "All right, let's get to it." So he may get a little more work done each day than what I do. <laughs>
we've noticed one thing that you actually just jump in here and get to it and i waste a lot of time filming so uh oh, you got stuff to do though right so there's always stuff to do always stuff to do all right for those of you who don't know this is brad top notch excavating he's got a youtube channel but you don't get to upload as much he actually uh, works <laughs> I, I, we, we finally have a real dirt guy on the channel so <laughs> people will be that. excited so yeah. <laughs> but he was nice enough that. to come down today with his grader you got this stuff looking good already did I, did I leave it rough enough for you or should I give you a little more of a challenge? I so. it looked pretty good. <laughs> looked pretty good. But yeah, he's been slicking this up, so we're hoping to maybe take care of our bad spot right here. But uh, yeah, it's looking good, so I appreciate it. But yeah, if you haven't, check out his channel. Try to encourage him to upload a little more often. So but he, like I said, he's actually busy. It's you got slow internet. That's why I don't That's, upload yeah. anything. I forgot. <laughs> Instagram's better. Yeah, he's on Instagram too, and he does upload on his or post on Instagram every day. So yeah, Top Knox excavating on Instagram and on YouTube. And on YouTube so, both. Yeah. So yeah, go give him a follow. Appreciate it. All right, we're gonna give Sass Fresh Valley a go at the 2150. Well, I'll make it easy. The only other one I ever ran was a case. Oh yeah, yeah you'll, you'll like it better than the case. Yeah. <laughs> it had so much slop in it you could feed a whole pen full of eggs. <laughs> This one's not bad. It needs a the bucket pin. It needs a little, put a little grease in it. It's kind of clanging, but I'll give her a shot. Yeah, I go spread this out so uh, we're not gonna have enough rock unless you can turn that pile into about six more loads somehow. How deep do you want me to dig? <laughs> it's not real deep on the parking lot side of it. So, all right, well, we'll cut him loose on this and uh, check back.
this load and maybe one big load one and a half if that and these are just all screening so i don't know if we're gonna have enough rocks but uh brad's working his magic and kind of pulling something off the edge the road may not be as wide uh the access road we're just focusing on the 10 foot area for the train track so i wish i had maybe another 20 loads of rock probably get it all the way but we'll get close but I gotta say, I'm having a blast. Like this is, to me, is just more fun today working with these guys. We got, you know, Sassafras is running the roller and then Brad on his grader and stuff like that. But I got some cool drone footage of loading the truck. He's grading, you know, William's rolling and then driving around. So I don't know, it's just, it's a lot of fun when you can work with a good group of guys and uh, just come and get some stuff knocked out. So it's almost like not even working, but uh, yeah, I'm having a good time. Hopefully they are too. And uh, I think uh, William is running to get us some uh, Whistler burgers. So we're gonna have a good lunch too. I didn't have my chain set far enough and then I had it second gear. So Brad wanted it a little thicker. So I'm gonna turn the first gear this time. I got the chains widened up. And then he was laughing at me because it was running over the top of my tailgate because I wasn't really working the bed. Which I just tried to explain to him. That's actually how I'm that much more efficient. It's like double tailgating. It runs out the bottom of the bed and the top of the tailgate. So I mean, you know, don't knock it. It's just, it's just how I spread it out. Man.
to make it work we're focusing like i said on where the track's going it's not quite wide enough for their little access road but that can be dealt with at a later date so our big focus today <clears throat> is just to get it ready for the track guys so brad's really got it slicked up i mean a lot of these spots that were soft we got filled in and uh leveled out good and then oh kind of on the corners here there, so. uh, on the corners here, he's kind of putting a pitch to where they kind of slope back in towards there. So, like a like a real train or a normal train, it's gonna be a little higher on that outside edge to kind of help make these turns a little bit easier on it. So, we'll pull up here and spread this last load, and then uh, keep letting him work his magic, and then we'll roll it in. up or something now. <laughs> yeah, that is the perfect size little grader for this. I am probably the most excited person to be to this point. So this has been a really fun project and challenging at times. So, but like I said, I've, I've enjoyed it. I mean, like the mud and stuff like that got a little bit old after a while. But that part of the time of the year, the rain and the weather like that, but I don't know, I guess it makes it, it's a more sense of accomplishment to what it is now. So yeah, I'm, I'm stoked to see it right here. I'm, it's gonna be exciting next week when they start laying the ties and the tracks and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this has been quite the project. <laughs> so, but uh, I was glad to be a part of it and do it, but this is definitely something neat, so. I hope we didn't burn too many people out since it uh, takes me a little longer than it does with like a whole crew of people on doing some of this stuff. Glad when I needed it, I had some good help from Dad and Brad and uh, William Harris, Satsafras Valley. So that's that's awesome when you uh, when you need them, they're they're here. So. The only other person I wanted to try to get was uh, Larry, or his YouTube channel is Dirt Daddy 953. He's actually in Mount Vernon, which is about uh 30 miles kind of 
north and east of me just a little bit it's on the, it's on the way to the new talk dealer that i got but uh yeah one of these days we're gonna get him either down here or i'm gonna go help him on a project to meet him but He's another great YouTube channel to watch. Like I said, he's just about 30 minutes for me. He's got a 953 loader, I think a 210 Cabelco excavator. And then a 850 case, a D6. Uh, I think he's got a back. He's got a lot of equipment and stuff like that, but he's just a one-man show too. So yeah, if you haven't checked him out, it's Dirt Daddy 953. And I'll put a card up. I don't know, wherever, in the corner. <laughs> we'll throw a card up to his channel and stuff like that, too. So, uh, yeah, you guys can check that out. But uh, I think it's lunchtime now. So let's go eat our burgers, and we'll check back in a bit. Well, here is the pretty much finished product of the road. Uh, the train is actually going to be, I may have already gone over this, going to be kind of towards this outside edge, and they're going to have kind of like this little access road uh to the inside and then this is here this is going to be actually where you board the train so i think they're going to pour i think that was 13 feet wide 100 feet long of concrete and have like a little building or an overhang so they wanted the train uh that way there's no you don't have to walk across the excess road because originally it was going to be more towards the inside uh but then they were worried for you know handicap accessible and stuff like that to just get the train closer and make it all the same <clears throat> height is the track so they put it on the outside i mean i know i keep saying that but to me th this is a huge accomplishment i mean especially like i said for me and then i had the help of my dad and brad and william i mean there wasn't like a 20-man crew that did this so it's it's really cool to see it to this stage so this is my biggest project that i've ever taken on and probably my most challenging but at the same time I kind of feel like it's one of the most rewarding ones too so this is it's definitely cool to be a part of this and i'm really excited to uh, start seeing the track going here next week and definitely going to get some video of that and interested to see kind of how that goes with the process of that so i'll definitely get some video of all that be sure to go and check out brad top notch excavating on youtube and instagram and then sassafras valley woodworks on youtube so you guys have seen him in a few other videos running the roller when we did the parking lot but i've met both of them through youtube and we've become really good friends and they're he's 10 minutes from me and top notch is 45 minutes from me so it's pretty cool that we can just kind of meet up and help out be sure to go check those two guys out and uh hopefully you guys like this video we had a lot of fun making it and uh they've actually got their perspective of the video uh for what they did today so on their channels maybe shortly after mine uh they'll have those videos up where you guys can kind of watch top notch running the greater more and then uh william on the uh, roller he did run this for a little while so i'm interested to see what uh footage you got from that and kind of his thoughts on that so okay enough talking let's do a little bit of quick grading and call it a night i'm not sure i mentioned this before or not but i love this trailer <laughs> This thing has been sweet, so we don't really need the roller anymore. He's got a couple of the, the walkways and pathways, but that one's almost too big, and I really need to work on some of the other stuff first, so I figured instead of just making a trip back down here Monday to pick it up, uh, why not throw it on there? It actually worked out. I just put the loader on first, but it was going to have the roller quite a ways back, so... It weighs 14,000, the loader weighs a little over 12. It's a little more tongue weight, but it'll it'll work because the loader's actually back a little bit past the back axle, so it should even out, but uh, yeah. This thing has been one of the best investments I've ever made, so this is just so handy to be able to move two pieces of equipment right here. Yeah, I just wanted to get on here, and this, this is awesome, so this is super handy.